Is coding for you? Is becoming a programmer something that you wanna do? Is software development the right career path for you to take? Many people have different personality types and certain types of jobs may not appeal or be as interesting to one kind of person as they would be to another. I've always enjoyed messing around with tech, but I never really thought that programming was gonna be right for me. You always hear that you need to be extremely smart and you need to be good at math and you need to go to college. So I always ruled that out as a possibility. And when I even decided to start looking for jobs in tech and computers, I thought about going into computer repair and networking because I didn't think that I was cut out for programming. So I decided to make this video to, to just kind of highlight some of the things that might stand out and let you know if coding and programming are right for you and if it's something that your personality type might enjoy to do long term as a career. Because when you're learning how to code, you have that honeymoon phase where you're doing tutorials and you're rocking and rolling and you, and you feel like you're on cloud nine because you've just found the thing that you wanna do for the rest of your life. And while that might be a good sign that programming is something that you should pursue, remember that the honeymoon phase dwindles and after a while, you're staring at code all day and you're sitting in front of a computer all day and that can be really, really hard. So one of the first things that I kinda wanna mention that maybe programming might not be for you is if you don't like sitting in a chair and staring at a screen for copious amounts of time. And that's one of the biggest things that you have to do when you're a programmer. Your job is to be on a computer all day. I was a gamer, I've been around computers my whole life and I had no problem sitting in front of a computer. So those days when I was learning how to code, I would sit in front of the computer for 16 hours a day, trying to cram in as much information and work on as much stuff as I could. I actually enjoyed a lot of that. Some people might not like that. Some people don't like being confined to a small space, sitting in a chair, in a cubicle, in front of a computer, and that's how it's gonna be most of the time. You're gonna be in front of your computer, writing code, reading code, working on problems, answering emails, and that's just something to really consider when you're trying to figure out if coding's right for you. Honestly, sitting at a desk all day is pretty boring, and I know many YouTubers on here have their day in the life videos where they show how cool it is to be a software developer, and I'll be honest with you, that there's many times when working on problems is a lot of fun, but it can also get pretty boring, and it's a desk job. So consider that as well. If you're someone who likes to work outside, if you're someone who likes to work with their hands and not be confined to a desk, software development can be a little bit boring and it kind of sucks to be stuck at a desk all day. Another thing that might stand out to you to know if coding is right for you, do you enjoy solving problems? Do you enjoy being challenged? Also, can you deal with not being able to solve a problem right away? Do you get frustrated easily when you have to think for a long time and focus on something for a while and basically work on something for a long time and maybe not get it accomplished in the time frame that you thought you would? And can you handle the struggle of not being able Able to figure stuff out right away and having to research and study and learn and fumble around until you figure something out. This is one thing that will stand out if you're gonna do well as a programmer and a coder. Think about it, this is gonna be your first three to five years of your career. You're gonna really be struggling a lot. You're not gonna totally understand things until you're more senior level and you've been doing this for a really, really long time. Obviously, if you're a computer science graduate and you did four years of college, you're gonna have an advantage over someone who's self-taught or went to a boot camp. But nonetheless, you're still gonna have to learn a lot. So keep that in mind. If you're someone who struggles with solving problems, if you're someone who gets frustrated and doesn't enjoy having to deal with and solutionize problems all the time, maybe software development might not be for you. But don't get discouraged just yet. If you do get frustrated with challenges and problems, remember that this is a skill that you learn and this is something that you get better at. So the more problems you deal with and the more solutions you come up with and the more you see the same problem over and over, you'll learn how to fix things quicker and you'll learn how to identify certain problems faster. And just experience in general will make this a lot easier for you. But when you're first starting out and you're dealing with your first few years of being a developer, it can take a while for you to feel confident and comfortable in coming up with solutions and fixing problems. So make sure that you can deal with the challenging work that software development is. I talked a little bit about dealing with challenges and problems. Another thing that might stand out 
if you're gonna be cut out for coding and programming is if you like building stuff. In programming, you might not get to build stuff with your hands, but you do get to build applications, you get to build websites, you get to build programs, and you get to see things from beginning to end, all the way from concepts to full functionality. And if that's something that you enjoy and that's something that's appealing to you, then programming might be good for you. If you don't like building stuff, maybe this isn't something that you'll like to do. And one last thing to look out for to know if coding is right for you and if programming is the right kind of job that you should pursue. Do you enjoy learning all the time? And when I mean learning all the time, I mean learning all the time. Being in a constant state of not knowing the answer to something. Sometimes you do know the answer to things and many of those times that feels really, really good. But a lot of times you don't know the answer to things and you're dealing with new technology or new software or, or something that you haven't dealt with before and you have to go out and you have to read documentation, you have to watch videos, you have to read blogs, you have to look at examples of how to implement things and you're constantly learning, you're constantly reading, you're constantly trying to figure stuff out. This can get grueling and if it's something that you don't like to do, if you don't like learning all the time, I'm not saying if you if you did well or not in school because I did terribly in school. I hated school. I didn't enjoy school, but I enjoy learning and learning how to code was something that I really enjoyed to do and continuing to learn every day as I am a professional programmer is something that I enjoy to do, but at times it can get pretty stressful. And if you're someone who doesn't deal well with feeling dumb and not knowing stuff and you know someone who doesn't want to sit there and read for a couple hours on how something works in order to be able to fix something or implement something then maybe coding isn't for you but if you do like to geek out and learn new stuff and or read about new tech and figure out how to fix problems like i talked about before and learn how to fix problems constantly then programming might be something that you should pursue and try out as a career or even as a hobby and maybe then turn it into a career. You don't need to learn how to code and go straight for a job, but many people do want to pursue this as a career. And if you're considering programming as a career, think about some of these things that I mentioned and know if coding is for you and if software development is the right choice for you to make and whether or not you want to go self-taught, a boot camp, or go to college for this stuff, getting a job as a software developer was my main goal when I was learning how to code and I'm really, really glad that I did it. And I knew that coding and programming was for me as soon as I had found it when I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do and what I was gonna learn. When I found programming, I knew that it was right for me. And you might feel that way right now and if you do, then that's a good sign that you're on the right path. So stay the course, keep on learning, keep on programming, keep on building stuff and eventually you'll get to where you want to be in your goals, whether if that's to create your own app or get a job as a programmer, whatever it may be, you'll get there. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and I'll see you next time.